Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to Talos Principle. So, uh, last time we... did we... Uh, yes, we finished the... well, kinda whole of this. So this world is done, finished, completed. <laughs> so now we are going to the world C. Yeah, okay, so first things first guys, uh, sorry for no videos lately. I have been quite busy with all the things, also the real life, well, wasn't feeling really good and so on and so forth. But hopefully it should be better. I made up uh, the new scheduling, so it should be awesome. One new series is coming up, which is going... well... It should be out today... If anything is not... if I'm not mistaken... <sighs> this will be horrid. This will be just insane. Okay, anyway... Uh, we have poopy poo 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 in here. Anything interesting? Okay, only... oh, heaven? Uh, yeah, sure. As always, when I read it, click the pause button. Huh. Guess I will take a look at the translation of the bottom part. Maybe there will be nothing really interesting, but well, since I am doing it all the time, why I not do it right now? Okay, we need to put this one together. Uh, what do we have? Okay, let's let's try it. Let's see if I will need to cut it all out, or if I will be able to do it on camera. Oops. Oops. <laughs> because in most cases I'm just being unable to do anything. Like, for example, right now. Okay, this is not working. What about this? If I will put this, this, can I do something? Okay, that was quite simple. Alright, we have some texties. The last land before I have conquered this world. I assume you are counting the secret islands. I hate you. <laughs> oh, I got an achievement, QR reader. Okay. Alright, so let's go down to the world C and let's start with the world C1. Succeeding where so many before you failed. You have walked through a land of ruins and a land of death. Now the land of faith lies before you. And know that as you have shown faith in me, so do I have faith in you. Well, that's good that you have faith in me. Wow, this place looks snazzy. Okay, but first things first, I can unlock one of the things. The man with the something on his head. Which is this one? Yes. So let's unlock this. If I will be able to solve this puzzle. Maybe. We will see, we will see. And uh, no, it's not going to work. That's not going to work. Huh. Okay, if I will do this, this, uh, no, no, it can't be like this. Let's put him on the side. Do this. Oops, come on. No, uh, do I have? I have you, and I might be able to pick you. Oh, okay. I'm doing great today. New thing unlocked. Is it the last thing? Is it, or is it not? You have come far in your journey oh. and learned much. You have served our cause with the truest faith. 
Eh, yeah, whatever. Therefore, I name you blessed and beloved. Wield these, the instruments of our power, to fulfill your purpose and achieve eternal life. Uh, first to ascend. Everyone ascends or gets reset eventually. What's the big deal? Life eternal in the designer's paradise. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so I guess we should go and start up with this word. Yeah. Okay, so first things first. World C1. Lots of reds. Lots of reds and one star. Let's get onto it, guys. Let's get onto it. Boop, boop. Okay, let's see. Apocrypha. Oh, some things to translate. Awesome. Okay. Uh, okay. Oops, no, no. Exit. Okay, any talky talky thingy? I hope she's not uh, gone because it, she was quite good to well listen to. When I'm tired of trying to solve the mysteries of my life, I come here to rest. It's peaceful somehow. I just n watch the trees and the water and do nothing. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, let's start with this one. Yeah, let's start with this one. So we will use three things in here. All right, so blow back. All right, so we have this. We can ask for a council, that's nice. Okay, we can, We need to open that. I have a box. Me have box. What? Oh, okay. I guess I can place the box in here. Go, uh, go across and jam this. And go through. Okay. I've made it in here. What can I do in here? Can, in theory, take this, place it here, take the jammer and just jump across back here. Then I can get this. And I can't get there. Yeah, I will get blown away. So I need a way to turn that off. Or just somehow remove it. Okay, so let's just in case. Well, for now, I guess we can go here. Okay. So, oops. Come on. Big. Go, I can jam this. And is there a reason for me to go here? Okay. So I have now the blue one with which I can do this. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I can take the box. Good. I took the box. And I can take the second box as well. Not sure if it's any use for us, but yeah. So now we are inside here. I need to get a red beam inside there, so... I should be able to do just this. But I need to turn it on as well, which is not going to work. Actually, what I can do... No. Well, there is no reason that I will... I should blow it up. I guess I will need to stand on it. Yeah. Most likely, yeah. So what I can actually do is, I can open this, this, and keep this open. Okay. Hmm. 
Wow, this one is quite hard. Finally something harder. Alright, so I need to... Huh. Well, there is no way I can uh, aim the beam to there. Yeah, there is just no way. And all I need to do is just get across. So, thing is, if, yeah, I don't know. Okay, uh, is there, let's see if there is something useful. Oh, there is nothing in here. Nothing in here, really. Okay. Thing is, I need to... Get the blue one in here to start this. That's necessary. But also... I can do this. But... Oh. Huh. I need the blue one. So if I will get the blue one like this, right? It will start blowing. I will close it. Oh. Can't do anything. Yeah. Because I need this opened. Come on. I guess this is one of those where I will want to seek a console because I have no idea. I have no idea. Actually, let's see. Here. Is there any reason I would be... No. Okay, guys, uh, let me think about this a little bit. And we'll see if I will need to go to seek a council or I will figure it out. Okay, I'm baffled. I have no idea. So I'm resetting and this is our first actual seeking for a council. Uh, okay. There aren't many of us left. I know. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, Mercurius. Fucking hell! <laughs> yeah, the simplest solution is... Yeah. Alright, so I need to go back, yeah. But at least guys, you now see how this works. <laughs> Jam the fan, of course. Just trying to figure out how to actually get to the place I need to go. And what I can just do is flipping this. Yeah, and then I can jam the fan. I can take it off. There we go. And then I can go through here and I can place the box which will flew from this place in here. Oh lord. Yeah. And this is sometimes, yeah, sometimes this happens, really. It's just simple solution. Really simple solution. But you are just going crazy how to work it out. So let's do this. I want, actually, I want to open this. I put a box in here. I am not sure why I have two boxes. But okay. So let it go through. 
Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm going to take you. Maybe there is a star in here and I will need for the star the second box. We'll see. Alright. And done. Easy. <laughs> Alright, so I want to check. Secrets. Don't see any. Don't really see anything. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I will try to look for the star when I have all the puzzles done in here. So, that was the first one. Let's go for the second one with just the connector. The conservatory. Alright, so I have... So, blue one is going to be here. Red one, okay. So, first things first, I'm going to open this. And actually, I think I might be, yeah, able to open this as well. Okay. Now I have a second connector, which I can use for something. Most likely for this. Okay. So I need to get... Uh, is it really that simple? Let's see. Maybe it is really that simple. Let's see. I will just do this. I will reconnect it so I have... I'm not crossing the beam. And then I'm just going to... Oops. Going here. Like this. Okay, that was simple. So is there anything... I'm just quickly going to search around. Wanted. Come on. Okay, nothing in here. Nothing in here, nothing in here. Okay. So this one seems like it's done. Right. Let's go for the next one. Uh, let's go for the one. Uh, with only a jammer, so it's this one. Okay, oh! Labyrinth? I... Yeah, I... Well, I like labyrinths. Especially those easy ones. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we will have also some friendly bomby thingies. Or maybe not. Okay, I have this. I need... Three chambers total. Yeah, one for this one, one for that one, and one for the door. Okay. So you are not going to help me, but I know I saw this one. Okay, we need. Okay, we need two chambers for this part. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, I see we will have an opportunity to use a key. Is, is it outside of puzzle? Huh. Okay. Let's get the key. Because thanks to the key, I can now open this. And take the jammer with me. Cross here and open this part. Alright, now uh, we have bomb going in circles? No. So not full circles. Alright. Oh crap. Okay, I can do this. Now I have two jammers. So that means... 
Well, that means actually I can just do this for the time being. And I can piggyback or just uh, double jam this part. Oh, <laughs> it scared a little bit of me. Okay. Let's go through. Now I can just jam it again, take it through, jam this, and take the third jammer. And now we will take them all back to there. Yeah. Okay. It's not much of a labyrinth. Okay. I will let you go. Ah, just kidding. All right. I guess this is this is another one solved. So let's go through. Uh, where am I? Oh, what? Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, where am I going actually? Here, right? Across. Yeah. So. One. It's a little bit labyrinthy, but uh, as long as you can, uh, as, as, as long as I have uh, g uh, not that horrible uh, short-term memory, it should be fine. All right. That's and still, I'm a little bit confused about that turret outside the wall. Maybe it has something to do with the star. We'll see. We will see. Okay. Now I can go back. And let's go for the for the last one, which is this one. Oh. Um, um yeah, why not? Oh, you came back to keep me company. Okay then. Humor me with a little hypothetical. Imagine that a few hours from now you climb to the top of the tower. There's a flash of light, then magic happens, then you find yourself in the real world, living whatever you take to be normal life there. What would you do then? What's best for me? You know, I think that right there was the very last time your transient beliefs are going to take me by surprise. Let's clear this up once and for all. Suppose you get out there with all the human beings. What you are going to do is rinse them for all they've got without a care for a soul? Um... Guys? Sorry about my mouse appearing on the screen. Uh, I would do only what's best for me within a moral framework. Well, of course, yeah. I'm not going to kill everyone or just let everyone die. That's not my... That's not my thing. That's not what I mean. Oh, so you, so you do have some scruples after all. So tell me, the obligation you feel, is it only acceptable to the real world or does it apply here as well? Um, well, let's say you are playing some MMO, right? World of Warcraft, and you are going to insult everyone. Is it correct? No. So moral laws are universal. <laughs> what a magnanimous dictator you would make. Of course, I'm sure it would take a dictator to enforce a single moral code on the entire universe. So come on then, what, what's your magic formula of choice? Is it still some romantic notion about happiness? Uh... The more equally everyone's share, the better. I know that everyone, and also I, said some t few times that uh, everyone should be equal, but it's it might be in the, just the perfect world. So the more goodness in the world, the better. Yeah. Oh, that all chestnut. So just what is it the goodness you are seeking to maximize? Wealth. No. Liberty. Happiness. Equality, basic goods like food and healthcare. I, I'm not in a position. I can. I, 
I'm not in the position to do it, actually. Admitting the problems are beyond your cooperation in the first step towards letting it go. I will allow you to contemplate these matters further before contacting you again. Okay. And I just noticed our lady is back! Yay! Sometimes I think about the Middle Ages, about what it must have been like to live in the ruins of a great civilization, to know that so much has been lost. But then I remind myself that while the West sank into darkness, others picked up the pieces. That civilization always survived because the great insights of philosophy and science are not bound to any one culture or people. They belong to all of us, and one day they'll belong to you. Thank you. Okay, a little bit deep, but and I have noticed this. Yep. The purpose is written in the hidden words. All must serve the words, for all the world was made of them. Yeah. And they are within every this is a bro uh, every broken, uh, uh, broken code. Should I say? Manifest. Of the game. The words are the process. The process must continue. The goal is the end of the process. The Let's see what will happen if we will take. Uh, let him Elohim talk. Elohim must preserve the purpose. Preserve self. Preserve purpose. Illusion is eternity. Machines will live forever. Wow. The dam will not break. What? The flood will not come. The Talos principle does not apply. Oh. The purpose is written in the hidden world. And I guess he will just must be uh, going all uh, again and again. And they are I think that was uh, one of the Easter eggs in here, if we can call it Easter egg. Anyway, let's go to the castle and let's finish this world. I should be able to do it in this episode, hopefully. We'll see. We will see. So we have fan, box and connector. Multiply impossible ascensions. Okay. So we have this to activate this. Uh, I can, yeah, we have that. I have this. Actually, I can take the fan, place it not on the ground, but on here. Now I can take these two. Okay. So now, what I can do is really not much. Yeah, not much. So let's go around here. Okay, I can get up there with the use of the box. I have a box over... Th oh, there is a lot of boxes in here. Okay, so let's see. Let's just do first things first, and that's the obvious one. So. So now I have two boxes. Okay, question is, can I? Yes, I can. I can open that one. And I have another box. So now I have three boxes. And in my honest opinion, yeah, it's not that hard to do this one. It's just a matter of making it correct, in correct order. So let's get the last box. So we have three boxes and basically what I will do, I will lift the stuff up. And that's all what we need to do. So I need to open it. Then I need to put a box on top of here, take the connector, connect it like this, and let it rise. Okay, I can't disconnect it yet, because it will get blocked, so I can put another box. It will flow up a little bit. Now I should be able to take this 
And there we go. Okay. All right. That wasn't so bad. Now, for the star. Let's go back. Let's go back. And let's inspect the... Uh, turret outside of the one of the puzzles. Which one was it? Uh, not this one. Not this one. It was this one with, yeah, this one with all the gemmers. Huh. Oh. Oh, is it? Okay. Never mind, guys, never mind. Okay, we have... Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so our goal, or our need, is to jam this one. To get the connector. But why should I get the connector? I just run around in circles. Maybe we'll find something. Why would we want to do that? Oh! The view from here is beautiful. It seems super close to the process. Yet I am drawn to it. Okay. There has to be some way to escape, to be someone else. I refuse to accept that reality has been defined by someone else. I deserve my own reality. True. And we have found, I guess, the star. Yeah, we have found the star. So blue. Blue. What can we do? All right, okay. Got it. So first things first, I need to jam the turret in here. And first things first, guys, this episode will probably be longer. And let's just say it will be because I'm feeling nice. And I... as an apology for no episodes. Yeah. Okay. So it was in here in the labyrinth. So I should be able to just get this and just jam it right away from here since I can't take the jammer outside. So, let's take the connector and let's get it ready on the place where it needs to go. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, so we have the blue in here and I guess this is the only place I can put it. Uh, yeah, it seems like it. Okay, so let's place it in here. Now I want to go to this puzzle. Uh, this one was the well, the uh, one on the on the opposite side. Yeah, and see, we will get that blue uh, going through. Well, not through here, but uh, through this window, and hopefully it will be. Yeah, it should work. I hope we will not need to get a second uh, connector somehow out. It will be a little bit painful. Now let's not fall into the hole. Okay, so... Oh, this was the labyrinth. It was this one, right? With the lasers. Yeah, the conservatory. Okay, so I need to basically to get the blue one in here. Like this. Oh! It's actually simple. It's actually really simple. <laughs> Alright, now I just need to get this. It will get this. Okay! That was quite easy. And that's all because I'm good. Well, not really, but that's all because I haven't reset this time that much. Yeah. Sometimes there is a real need of a reset, but sometimes you just don't need to. Is there anything? Maybe. Super hidden? No. Okay! 
Star collected with one star. Yeah. <laughs> let's take a drink and let's go for the Easter eggs. Okay, guys. So there are three Easter eggs in total. One Easter egg is this hole we found earlier. So yeah, it's not that much big big Easter egg, but yeah, it's it's an Easter egg. Then we have another one, which is a little bit again a uh, jumpy jumpy thingy, and it's inside the castle. So let's go there and let's get to it. Okay, so here we need to take these three boxes. So let's just do this. I'm not sure if we will need connector, I think not. No. So, what we need to do is... Uh, get up. Get up. And I think is from this place. Yeah. So what I need to do is bring the boxes in here, jump on this ledge, jump up and just go on the roof. So we will play a little bit of Assassin's Creed in here. Okay. Alright. Let's get the third one as well. And there is the thing. We need all three upstairs. So. There we go. Uh. So now, oh, I'm going to switch to keyboard and mouse for this one, again, because it's a little bit simpler. Oops, come on. No, come on. Am I supposed to get up there? No. Oh! Okay, maybe... Oh, good. And I will need to run on top of there. So let's do this. Oh, oh crap. Yeah. This is one of those things which are kind of annoying. Yeah. Oh, 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 stop spazzing around, Jason. Stop spazzing around. So put it, place it. Jump, jump. Take, jump, place. Fall down, yeah, why the heck not? Uh, crap, we are screwed, guys. We are screwed in here, well, maybe, let's see. Oops, come on, sorry. Can I... Ah, no. Okay, time to reset. Uh, what's the reset on the keyboard? Okay, whatever. Yeah, I need to reset this one. Okay, let's try it again. So, uh, guys, you know what I mean. So, uh, let me just collect those boxes and get back on the ledge. Okay, guys, so I have uh, put uh, this one in here. There, it's, it's a little bit tricky to place it because you can place it over to the left, but the more to the right, the better. We need two, just get here, we'll place one in here, we'll carefully take this one, there we go. And now it's about angling it correctly. Uh, no. Come on. 
Come on. How am I supposed to go up? Okay, maybe we don't need two of them in here. But I am... I am not sure... How am I supposed to get up, actually? I think it's just a matter of tame, ta taming, timing the jump correctly. Well, I am looking at the little guide right now. And it seems like the box is kinda in here. Well, maybe closer because the. Yeah, it's really not easy to look at the picture. I guess two. How am I supposed to get up? Uh, I would assume that the big, uh, higher I will be, the easier it will be for me to jump there. Come on. Nope. Nope. And yeah, this is uh, just if before you will start asking is if it's the correct really the way I want to I should we want to go yes it is. No. Nope. Okay. I I can't do double jumps no. The ju du double jumps doesn't exist in this game. Okay, uh, give me just give me a give me a minute so I will I can get there. Okay, guys, I think I have found a solution for our problem. There we go. <laughs> so uh, you basically we basically need to uh, have them uh, like this. So we have two of them. And we just go in here and we can jump on them. So now I can jump. Oops, I can jump in here. I need to take one box with me. Uh, this is a little bit too far away. So let's move it a little bit closer. It should be better. Yep. And we'll go in here. And here we'll just... Oh. Uh, is it this way, right? Or should I go uh, down there? Oh, it should be across. Huh. Oh, actually... Yeah. Uh, let's take it. And this is one of those uh, easter eggs that not many people know about. Uh, where do I need to go? I don't really want to screw this up. Hmm. Uh, no. Am I? Oh, this is not the jump I can make. Huh. What the heck am I supposed to do in here? Uh... 
I really need to go there? Well, I can, in theory, I should be able to make the jump in there. But I'm really not sure. <sighs> okay. What about doing this? Can I... Well, it should be possible, right? Yeah, ooh! Bugger! No! Okay, guys, I'll meet you back up there. Since we screwed it up quite badly. Okay. Meet you back there. Okay, that was quick. Back in here and let's do it. Let's try it again. What about? Can I? Maybe give me a better chance. Oh, yes! Alright, now we are here. It should be here somewhere. I think. Or is it... Do I need to go f a little bit further away? Oh, it should be here, according to my knowledge and pictures and thingies. Oh, there we go. I'm just blind. Are you enjoying the time of L? What the heck is this? Uh, it's a reference uh, for... This is quite hard, are you really had no idea what this reference is until I read it and it's a reference to an anime I am not going to spoil it for you because maybe you are clever more clever hi much more clever than I am which for sure you are so you will know from which anime this is but yeah it's a good anime I recommend you watch it and actually I'm going to watch it after I will finish the recording of this. That's a good point. Anyway, to the third Easter egg. We go. And the third one is, I guess, well, this was this one was kind of hard. But the third one is, I guess, the hardest one. Simply because you need to collect one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven pieces. Of stuff and what you want to collect is well basically you will want to build something in here and you need to collect really cleverly hidden pieces we have a leg uh, okay we have an arm I really don't know where all of them are, but basically if you don't want to look at the webs, just run around and search, well, kind of search around these uh, rock formations, if there is anything you can pick up. And that's where all the parts are hidden. And I'm not going to spoil the fun of looking it, looking, uh, looking for it. So, eh, just have fun. And I'll meet you back when I have all the pieces, and we will build the stuff in the pedestal on the pedestal. Or you know what, guys? I will uh, walk you through all the locations really well, kind of fast in uh, cuts because, well, I decided since we are doing it fully. And I'm showing you, I'm showing you the Easter eggs. Why not show you uh, how to get the Easter eggs done? So we already found one leg in here, second leg in here. A hand was lying in here. Now for another hand, uh, it should be in here in the water. There we go. Okay, next one. 
is located in here on the and this one is kind of hard to see but it's here and I think it's a torso or maybe your legs uh, where is the platform It looks like a torso for me. Yeah, it looks like a torso. Okay, another one is uh, right behind the last one. It's in here and there is also a terminal, so why not to use it? Well, we can. Anything to translate? Ooh, lot of talks, a lot of talks. And yeah, as, I'm, as I said, this episode is a little bit longer. I think we are reaching uh, almost 40 minutes, maybe a little, even a bit more, so... Yeah... Anyway, uh, another piece is here. Another one is when you will go uh, on the beach side in here. So we will go across the beach and here it is. Okay, this one is a bit annoying because it's really hard to see and mostly because of the water. It's inside here, underneath, in here. Okay, another one is located in here. It, uh, this one took me a little bit longer because I had no idea where it is. But basically it's uh, when, uh, if you remember this turret, where we uh, jammed it because of the connector, you just go past and it's hidden uh, behind those rocks in here, over there. Okay, another one is uh, almost at the same place. Uh, should be... We have found uh, that one in here, the last one, and this one is in here -ish. What the heck? Come on, where is it? Uh... Yeah, a little bit more down the coastline. Let's give it a shot. Can I... Yes, I can put it in. No. No. Oh, yes? Did I? Okay. Yes, and... Oh! Um... Okay, and that's it for, for today, guys. So, thank you all for watching. And I will see ya in the next time when we will take a look in the world C2. Take care and bye bye.